We had another question come in from Group Life 2009. How do we distinguish between a true psychological, relational, et cetera, issue and an issue that is more spiritual? Um, or what are some practical indicators of an issue that needs professional counseling? Um, I, I have gotten very comfortable um, with this idea of saying, I don't know when people come talk to me about certain issues in their lives, of being comfortable with, with admitting that I'm not the best person um, for them to talk to in a given situation. And I think that one of the skills of leadership development that we need to, to gain is the ability to say, you know what, I'm not, I'm not your savior in this situation and I'm not the best person for you to talk to. And in those moments, it's directing people to a counselor or someone else who can give them the best care and the best guidance and direction that they need at that season of their lives. I, I think this is a very case by case, um, uh, it's a case by case situation, which is why it makes it difficult to answer. But I do think it would be helpful for different communities of small groups or churches to come up with a list of maybe some of the indicators or some of the symptoms or some of the things that that would be recommended to seek professional counseling for. For instance, a few years ago, we just gave a list out to uh, to, to our leaders at National Community Church and, and just said, you know what, if these things are happening in your group, then uh, you might want to let your coach know about it so you can get some guidance and make sure you have good resources and tools to do that. Um, and then we had another list that said, if these things are happening in your group, then professional counseling really needs to be recommended. Um, whether that's something like cutting or, or um, people thinking through um, getting a divorce or, um, uh, you know, different relational sexual brokenness issues. Um, those, those are situations that you aren't necessarily required to handle as a small group leader. Your job is to be there to care and support and create a safe place for those things to come out. Um, but then the next best thing you can do as a leader is send people to counseling so they can get additional care and guidance that they need to work through those issues in a systematic way. So I would encourage uh, churches and coaches and pastors to come up with some of those lists of, hey, here are things that we would recommend that a leader um recommend professional counseling for and uh, also know a couple of counselors in your area that you know other people at your church have gotten help from uh, so that you can have a few people to to recommend um, that your group members uh, go check out and, and here's the deal with a, a counseling relationship it's just like any other relationship you have to make sure that the relationship clicks um, so encourage people in, in your group that they might need to try one or two or three different counselors before they find one that they feel comfortable with, that they feel like is a safe place. Um, and again, the goal is always growth and uh, becoming who God created us to be.